Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to react to another hockey video. This one's called NHL Faking an Injury Moment. So as you guys know, or if you know, if you don't know, I am a huge football fan. And when I say football, I mean European football, the real football, not American football. And so there's something called dives. You see players diving all the time, faking things just to get a uh, just to get the other player expelled or maybe get a free kick or a penalty or something like that But I didn't know that was the same thing that happens in hockey. This video should be interesting before getting into the video Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy the content Comment on the channel see next and subscribe to the channel for more content. Let's get into it he just fell by himself. This is even more embarrassing than what happens in football. Oh. Oh, oh he hit him. He hit him. Oh, oh, he hit him. I didn't see that. Slash and a rough. Slash to friends and a rough to Joe Fortune. Brink wide for Dan Carcillo. He's heated by the puck. And as he did, the play was offside, and Carcillo got clipped with a high stick by Mike Motto. Man, that was so fake. Complete and utter fraudulent behavior. Here's Green across the crease, and Thomas saves it on the deflection off Ovechkin. Like battles with Ovechkin's everywhere, man. And Chimera pairs off and gets the stick in. Was that Boychuk going down? What happens though? No, it's going to be do the, do the other guy. Yeah, oh, I remember this guy. This is the guy who leaked one player, I think. I don't remember the name, but I remember the text. That was a nasty guy. I think. So, I got a question. What happens if you fake an injury? Do they, you know, like now in football, you have the VAR where they go check if something happens, if it was intentional, not intentional. Do they have something like that? In, in hockey, assistant video uh, referee, referring referees, I don't know how to call it. Do they have something like that? And if they see that you are faking it, do you get a penalty or do the other guy, the, the guy who supposedly uh, uh, hit you, does he get the penalty? How, why do they fake the injuries? What is the meaning? I want to know. It's like, what are the implications behind it? He touched him. Like this is the best goalkeeper out there. The Would you fake anything? They want. This is theatrics. Is it though? Because he is the best out there. What happens? Oh, they're going to call a penalty. And the players are going low. Nope. Hit him in the shoulder. Why did he call the penalty, though? Did he think that he hit him in the face? Or was he touched his face? Here's Marshawn in front of the goal. So one of the implications is getting a penalty, huh? That couldn't have crushed him. I mean, he touched him. So, was the official who saw a slash there? That is just ridiculous. Please call. That's it. I didn't see anything getting faked though. What, what, what was faked? Ovech is all. Oh man, this guy is everywhere. Oh, he used his, his, his shoes. How, how are they called? Skates? Skates? To kick the, the, the puck. Is that a fault actually if you use your, your, your legs to kick the puck instead of the stick or your hand? Or doesn't matter, whatever you use. But like in football, if you use your hands, it's a foul. And in certain conditions, you're going to get a red card. And best of yellow. That stick never touches him, and he sold it. 
Ribeiro collides with Mike Knubel. Ribeiro goes down and is writhing in pain. He'd be okay. He actually has a smile for the Bruins bench. Marty LaPointe doesn't find it very funny. People looked at him writhing on the ice and he made an immediate determination. That was either he's so faking or he's drama. not faking. And more people than not thought he was faking. But back there, good play by Hainsey to cover up in front of his goaltender. Slipped around the net. There goes the Washington netminder to the bench. Sixth attacker out of the Capitals. But the play is stopped on that rush inside. Here's Benito. He didn't touch him, though. Oh, did he? He only touched his side, though. I didn't know people lied like this in hockey too. I thought since like it only happens in football. How stupid of me to think that. I mean it's not stupid, I just did. I didn't expect because like the game the games are so usually quick and fast and so energetic and so physical that I didn't think it was something like that was going to happen. But yeah, you never know. Is waving the Ranger players away. Yeah. They're arguing that something else happened. He's handling the puck. Craig will land him with one hand on the stick, gives him the chop on the back. And I don't he, that to me was not a vicious chop by any stretch of the imagination. And he's down. Maybe you hit a nerve in his back, Dick. They give him the benefit of the doubt. No, come come on now. Come. Who's that? What's the name? Pierre. Is he from French Canada? Because of the name, I'm, I'm asking because of the name, La Pierre. That's French. Come on! He's stupid. Was so stupid, man. The job that he was he's too, he's teammate. Look at this. Okay, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I've learned something about hockey that I didn't know. It's crazy. It doesn't matter how tough you think these guys are. Probably the only sport where there's no faking is probably the 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 the, 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 the UFC fights. Because there's no need to fake over there. You are literally to fight, but in all the other sports, because I didn't expect this from hockey, but I guess it is a sport man's sin. All right, guys, I'll point your video. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy the content, comment on which channel is next, and subscribe to the channel for more content. And until next time, peace out.